This is a video on methods of purification of organic compounds. First of all, purification is required. These organic compounds which are generally extracted from a natural source like plants, animals, coal or from the earth's crust or it can be synthesized in the laboratory naturally would contain some impurities. So in order to get the pure organic compound it's necessary to remove the impurities. This process is called purification. So once an organic compound is extracted from a natural source or synthesized in the laboratory, it is essential to purify it to remove the impurities. Various methods used for the purification of organic compound are based on the nature of the compound and the impurity present in it. So, compound kaisa hai, uske impurities kaisi hai, unme kya difference hai, uske basis pe the type of the purification technique is decided. Some of the common techniques which we are going to discuss here are sublimation, crystallization, distillation, differential extraction and chromatography. Let's understand about these techniques one by one. Starting with the first one that is the method of Sublimation. Sublimation kya hota hai? It's a process of conversion of a solid substance directly into a gas without passing through the liquid state. There are various sublimable organic as well as inorganic compounds. Common organic compounds involve the aromatic compounds like naphthalene, anthracene. Inorganic examples are iodine solid, ammonium chloride solid, or even the solid carbon dioxide or dry ice. These are all sublimable compounds. Now, if these sublimable compounds contain the impurities which are non-sublimable, then this method could be used for purification. Hence, sublimation technique is used for separating mixtures of sublimable compounds and non-sublimable impurities. Kaise karte is process ko? So, the mixture of sublimable compound and the non-sublimable impurities is heated. I have taken an example of inorganic compound that is cell ammoniac or ammonium chloride. The same technique could be applied for organic compound as well. So, this mixture of ammonium chloride and salt is heated in a china dish covered with an inverted funnel and a cotton plug at the top. When the mixture is heated for some time, the solid ammonium chloride would directly get converted into vapors and, and these vapors get accumulated on the surface of the inverted funnel and this is how the sublimable compound could be separated as the non-sublimable impurities would remain in the china dish. So in terms of organic compound, this method is used for purification of camphor, naphthalene, anthracin, benzoic acid and other sublimable organic compounds. Next method of purification is crystallization. Crystallization is based on the principle of difference in the solubility. It is used for separating mixtures with difference in solubilities of organic compound and its impurities in a suitable solvent. Kaise karte crystallization? Let's see. The impure solid is dissolved in a solvent. Now, yaha par the solvent should be selected in such a way that the organic compound to be purified should be more soluble in the solvent as compared with the impurity. Then this mixture is stirred to dissolve the organic compound. The solution is then heated to evaporate most of the solvent. The hot solution is allowed to cool and the solid appears as pure crystals. The cold solution is then poured off to obtain the crystals and the crystal may be further dried by passing them between the sheets of filter paper. So for organic compounds, 
sugar with impurity of common salt can be crystallized from hot ethanol at 348 Kelvin. So here the sugar which is the organic compound to be purified dissolves in hot ethanol the solvent but salt the impurity does not. Similarly benzoic acid and naphthalene both aromatic compounds can be separated from hot water where hot water acts as a solvent in which the benzoic acid will dissolve but naphthalene won't. So benzoic acid dissolves because of the presence of COOH group and naphthalene being non-polar is not able to dissolve in hot water. Next is the method of simple distillation. Distillation is basically a technique based on the principle of difference in boiling points. Simple distillation is used for separating mixtures of liquids having sufficient difference in their boiling points, which would also mean it is used for separating volatile liquids from non-volatile impurities because volatile liquids are low boiling liquids and non-volatile liquids would be high boiling liquids. So basically, there is a difference in the boiling points. This method is used in the separation of chloroform and aniline. Look at the boiling point differences. Chloroform which boils at 334 Kelvin can be separated from aniline having a boiling point of 457 Kelvin, a difference of about, about a difference of about 125 degrees Celsius or 125 Kelvin. Ether with a boiling point 308 Kelvin and toluene with a boiling point 384 Kelvin, about 76 Kelvin difference. Let's see how simple distillation is carried out. So the mixture of organic compounds with difference in their boiling point is taken in a round bottom flask. It is heated to the boiling point of the compound to be purified. The thermometer checks the temperature to which it is heated. Now while heating, it is probable that the temperature can go above the boiling point temperature. Meaning, let's say chloroform is boiling at 334 Kelvin and we are heating the mixture to 334 Kelvin. But it's very difficult to maintain that the temperature exactly at 334 Kelvin because heating can't be controlled. That is the reason the temperature can shoot above 334 by 10, 20, 30 degrees Celsius. So, simple distillation technique can be used when the difference is 30 to 40 Kelvin. But if the difference is lesser than that, then the simple distillation can't be used. So we have another technique of purification in the case when the boiling point differences is very small. So remember, simple distillation is used when the difference in the boiling point is high. So the mixture is heated in a round bottom flask. For example, in a mixture of chloroform and anidine, chloroform is a low boiling organic compound. So, if it is heated to a temperature of about 334 Kelvin, chloroform vapors will be boiled and they will get collected in the slant tube which is surrounded with a condenser. The condenser will lower the temperature and as soon as the temperature is lowered, the vapors of chloroform will get converted into liquid and because of the slant arrangement, they will start get collected in the conical flask. And this is the liquid chloroform which is separated from aniline by the process of simple distillation. The next method of purification is fractional distillation. Now, as I said that in simple distillation, the difference between the boiling point of the liquids to be separated should be greater than 30 Kelvin. But if the difference between the boiling point of liquids is less than 30 Kelvin, then the simple distillation is ineffective. In that case, we have to use fractional distillation. 
So fractional distillation is used for separating mixtures of two or more miscible liquids which have boiling point close to each other. The difference can range about 25 to 30 Kelvin or lesser than that. So fractional distillation will be used for separating mixture of two or more miscible liquids which have boiling point close to each other. Common examples of fractional distillation include separation of acetone and methanol having boiling point very close to each other, the difference of just 9 Kelvin, benzene and toluene with a difference of about 31 Kelvin, ethanol and water with a difference of about 22 Kelvin and very importantly fractional distillation is used to separate different fractions of crude oil in petroleum industry. Crude oil contains a mixture of large number of hydrocarbons which need to be fractionally separated and lower hydrocarbons are generally used as fuels. The higher hydrocarbons can be used in other industrial uses. So let's see how it works. The apparatus of fractional distillation is similar to simple distillation except for the presence of fractionating column. So this is a fractionating column which is inserted between the RV flask and the distillation column. Fractionating column can be of different types. The commonly used are a fractionating column with large number of beads or glass beads and it can have the columns or chambers in between. Now, how does the fractionating column works? When the mixture is heated, the heat at the bottom of the fractionating column would be very high. But because of the large number of beads or chambers in between, it becomes difficult for the heat to travel upwards. That is why the lower end of the fractionating column is hotter as compared with the upper part of the fractionating column. So now, when the mixture of miscible liquid is heated, the low boiling vapors will rise up the column in the cooler compartment and the high boiling liquid will be staying at the bottom part of the fractionating column. So now, over a period of time, the fractionating column at the top will be richer in low boiling point component and once the temperature reaches the boiling point of the compound to be separated, their vapors will start flowing into the condenser and the condenser will cool down the vapors and condense it and the liquid will be collected in another conical flask. So important, fractional distillation, the vapors of lower boiling fraction reach the top of the column that is in the cooler compartment first followed by vapors of higher boiling fractions. So over a period of time there is a possibility that the higher boiling liquid also travels up the compartment and once the temperature reaches the boiling point of that compound even that can start condensing. So this distilled liquid might have the impurities of high boiling component. That is the reason this fractional distillation need to be repeated again and again several times to get the pure distilled liquid in the other end of the flask. Next method of purification is steam distillation. Steam distillation is used for separating. Mixtures of substances which are steam volatile, not miscible with water. So there are many organic compounds which does not mix with water. These type of compounds could be separated by steam distillation. Possess a vapor pressure of about 10 to 15 mmHg. A low vapor pressure would mean a high boiling liquid and containing non-volatile impurities. So steam distillation is 
used in separation of aniline and water. Industrially, it is used for extraction of pure essential oils naturally obtained from plants, purification of nitrobenzene, orthonitrophenol, bromobenzene, etc. Now, orthonitrophenol, because of intramolecular H bonding, has a low boiling point and that is why it is highly volatile and it can be separated out with the highly heated water that is steam. Hence, we say orthonitrophenol is steam volatile. So, it could be separated from a mixture of paranitrophenol through steam distillation. Let's see how this method works. So, this is the apparatus for steam distillation. The left hand side of the RB flask contains the water to be heated to be converted into steam. The right side of the RB flask contains the compound to be distilled. So now when the water is heated, the steam passes via this tube into the another RB flask. The steam supplies the energy to the steam volatile compound and kicks out into this particular tube. So now this tube will contain the steam and the organic compound which was steam volatile and then it is passed to the condenser. The condenser will condense this mixture into the liquid and that could be collected in the conical flask. So through the steam distillation, the steam volatile compound could be separated out with the steam and now we will get two layers depending on the density. We can have the presence of hydrosol or water above or below the distilled liquid. So important point, steam volatile compound volatilizes meaning it will rise up, the vapors condense in the condenser and then the liquid collects in conical flask. So this is the principle of steam distillation.